that you never get to participate in because you're a baseball player. One is here and one is in Louisville because you're always at the ballpark. You know, I can't remember last time when I was in baseball for 29 years, you don't get many Memorial Days off. Usually they were double headers. So I've been to two Kentucky Derbies, and this is my first uh, in the Memphis final. And I'm from Cincinnati. And I only live 90 miles from here. I could have walked and got here. Think about another year? Uh, no, but I'll watch it on TV. You know, I mean, unfortunately, you can't watch it when you're playing. But if it, I, I would rather be out getting three hits than watching in and that was 500. But today I'm here to watch in and that was 500 because I'm not going to get three hits. But you still rather get three hits today? Right? No, no, no. You, know, you walk out there and get three hits on a diamond? No, right no, I couldn't walk. I couldn't walk out there. I let my girl do that. <laughs> <laughs> Money don't buy everything. If it did, I'd buy four hits a day. <laughs> There's money don't buy happiness. If it did, I'd buy four hits a day. Yeah. Is Pete Rose happy today? Yes. Yeah, nice. It's, uh, you know, Dick Gordon brought me in here. No traffic. Parked right outside on the curb. I'm gonna sit up there with the president of the track. Be able to see everything. But, it's a little bit, uh, probably getting spoiled the first time you go here. It shouldn't be like where I'm going to watch the race from. You know, I said it'd be like everybody else to sit in the grandstand and work up to the big seats and work up to the great seats. You know, it's all downhill from here. Hopefully I'll be a good boy and they'll ask me to come back. See what problem come this year when uh, like I said, Dick Gordon, who works for USAC, uh, is a good friend of uh, my brother's who lives in Indianapolis, and uh, another guy named Greg Staub, and they come out to Vegas where I was signing autographs, and asked me would I like to come. I said, yeah, I'd like to, sure, great. Dick's been to 57 of them. Today's his 57th. Were you so, able uh, to make it to the fest to the parade yesterday? Oh, no, I was in uh, where was I? Las Vegas yesterday. I'm not a parade guy. I'm not a parade type guy. Unless it's a World Series parade. I've been to three of them. Those are pretty much fun. <laughs> those are all Yeah, those are pretty much fun. <laughs> what do you think about the Christian Moorline Logger House that's across from the stadium in Cincinnati that's bringing the heritage back for the breweries in Cincinnati? Have you been there yet? No, no. When I go to Cincinnati, no, no I just go for the games. Well, it's, it's diagonally across. Yeah, so. but I go underneath and park. All right. You know, this is not Pete Smith. You're talking to Pete Rose. <laughs> <laughs> I go down Pete Rose Way and go right into Pete Rose uh, entrance to, to park and go from there. And what do you think of the white rose they have planted out front for where you're... Uh... Is that really true? Yes, it's true. I saw it myself two weeks why, ago. Uh, why not a red rose? I was a red. The rest of them are red and then the white one for the baseball where it landed. Listen, I just root for the reds every day and they're about five or six. Games are worth 500 right now, and they're a game and a half ahead of the Cardinals. So, Mr. Cassman, he's doing a great job over there. I got some good ball players, Votto and Bruce and Stubbs and Phillips. And they got, you know, Cueto, they got some good players over there. So, your heart's still in Cincinnati? I'm from Cincinnati. I'm I born know. in Cincinnati. So, you know, there's no team in Las Vegas, so I can't. <laughs> you still keep in touch with your old teammates? Oh, yeah. I was, I, we, me and Joe Morgan went to Abilene, Texas last week. Talked to Johnny Bench three or four days ago. Yeah. They're like my brothers. Been through a lot of wars with those guys. You know what I mean? Good players. You say you're staying busy, but if the opportunity came to get back into baseball, would you want to get Oh, back? sure. You, sure you love being baseball. Yeah. But I'm... Let's see. What's the best way to describe it? I probably watch more baseball than anybody you know. That, that's one good thing about living in Las Vegas because the, the East Coast games are 4 o'clock, the Midwest games are 5 o'clock, and the West Coast games are 7 o'clock. And I get off at 4.30 and I just go watch, I get the baseball channels. You know, I watch the Reds every night, I watch the Yankees, you know, I watch the Dodgers, I watch Pujols with Anaheim, you know, watch Ishi, Ishi Road with Seattle. You know, I'm not, uh, I know pretty much about what's going on in baseball today. Yeah. Who, plays, who plays like Pete Rose? A lot of guys. A lot of guys play like Pete Rose. But you guys don't want to talk about them. You'd rather talk about drugs and other stuff. You know, there's a lot of players that play hard today. There's a lot of good players out there. Really, there's a lot of good players. Harper? Harper plays hard. He's 19 years old. You know, 
Hey, Pedroio from Balsam plays hard. Votto plays hard. Jeter plays hard. You know, a lot of guys play hard. Just because you don't run the first on the base on ball don't mean you don't play hard. You know what I mean? But uh, you got to get you got to get used to it. one thing. Like, you can ask these drivers in this race. <clears throat> the, the one thing you want to get used to doing is winning. That's what it's all about. They all want to win today. You ain't gonna hear too many guys say, "I just want to finish the race. I want to win the race." If you can't win it, then you want to finish the race. Uh, from LA, I want to ask you, what do you think of Matt? He's great. He's one of the top five players in baseball. Yeah, I'm surprised he's starting. Oh no, the way he ended last year? And the way he started this year. Yeah, he's pretty good. Pretty good. They're playing good. They're playing real good. Do you have anybody you played with? Anybody I played with? No, I don't. I don't like. I don't like to. Uh, you know, when you talk about guys I played with, plays, I, I played with 11 Hall of Famers, and I played against Mays and Aaron and Clemente and Usual. So it's a little hard for me to start, uh, you know, comparing to a guy that's played three or four years of those type guys. Let him do it 10 or 12 years, and I'll come and compare him. Like Morgan, Bench, Perez, Frank you know, Robinson, guys like that. Those, uh, those are long-term guys. Who did well. Frank Brown, Justin, maybe. I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad he's in Detroit. And I'm in Cincinnati. I don't have to face that guy. <laughs> you know, if everybody, if everybody was like him, the batting champion hit 260. <laughs> he's got good stuff, boy. He's a, yeah, him and Weaver. You know, those type of guys. Uh, Kershaw from Dodgers. You know, but it, it, it's the same thing as facing uh, Marichal and Koufax and Drysdale and Gibson and Seaver and Carlton. It's the same thing. I mean, the, you, you just I mentioned the best pitcher in baseball. You know, he'd be one of them guys you try to scramble and get a hit off of. Get two or three the next day. Or else get a walk and go for three. But you wouldn't be scared. You know. What was it like to face Marichal? He was the best pitcher I ever faced. But I got a lot of hits off of him. I couldn't hit Koufax with this table right here. I couldn't. I just, I, I don't know. He just, he was good. I mean, he was just, you know. Hell, my first two years in the league, he struck out over 300 both years. I hadn't learned how to hit yet. You know. I got 77 hits off of uh, Phil Negro. He got 34 hits off his brother Joe. Just think about that. I got a 40th. Okay. Watch my girl, man. Uh, I got a 40th of all my hits off the Negro family. She'd had five boys. I'd have got 5,000 hits. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go. Oh, we gotta go. Yeah, we gotta go. Sorry. Thanks, Dave.